So he's been arrested twice. Remember, being indicted means being arrested, booked, and facing the charges in front of a judge. So we're going to talk about this. I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please do like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Hey, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So the case is this. Poor old Donald Trump has now been arrested twice. He's got more arrest in his future. He's got uh, Georgia uh, coming up with Fonnie Willis. He's got, um, you know, endless uh, possibilities for our enjoyment from now on in. Now, I think it's going to be a long time before we see any kind of satisfaction. So uh, that's what we'll talk about. That's what we'll draw on. And uh, just questions at random. Probably a couple of three-card draws and then a longer six-card or ten-card uh, Guided Cross or Celtic Cross. So, I hope you like it. Keep watching. <clears throat> well, this is going to be a fun read for me. I've been waiting to do something along these lines. Now, all the other tarot card readers have jumped on this and have been putting out videos right and left as soon as they heard there was a possibility of it happening. And I've just kind of sat back and let that go on because what I do know is that these videos live on in uh, perpetuity. And so uh, this will show up in your feeds. It will come back again and again after this is over with and during the whole process. And you'll get to see how accurate these, this read is or inaccurate as the case may be. But what I want to talk today about is that uh, poor Donald Trump. So uh, the E. Jean Carroll case, lost, going to lose again because she's going back for more money because he couldn't keep quiet. The um, Jack Smith, uh, the federal Department of Justice prosecutor, has slammed him on 37 counts. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. Um, trust me, there's more. If you look at some of those pictures, that have been posted in the indictment. You're gonna see that in the bathroom, for instance, over the shower curtain, that shower is loaded with boxes. You're gonna see in the room where all the boxes are stacked up, if you look closely, there's a copy machine right there in that room, about the center of the picture. You don't see it because it's just about halfway or maybe just a, a quarter of it is showing, but it's right in the middle of the picture. So there's all sorts of things uh, still to go and the fellow who's been equally uh, indicted with him and we don't know when that guy's gonna be arrested and arraigned. And I wonder if that will be a different, uh, you know, that's a whole other video. We're gonna do another other video on Walting Natal, I think is his name. I have to get it correct for that video. But we'll delve into that. And, uh, but I will ask if he's gonna turn on Trump to save his skin. So that's what we'll be talking about today. But before we get into it, you know what we're gonna do. We're gonna take just a moment for meditation. Here we go. Very good. So poor Donald Trump. Let's do uh, three cards right off the bat to see if, and I've read on this before, but this will be kind of an update, I guess. Uh, if uh, Fonnie Willis, now that's the uh, Georgia uh, prosecutor, if she's going to indict him, when? Is she going to indict him in the next three months. I'm doing this reading in uh, June. It's June 13th. So June, so it's July, August, September. Will Fonnie Willis indict Donald Trump? And what does that mean, indict? It means arrest him and then he's arraigned. So will she indict Donald Trump in the next three months? Three cards. One, two, Three. Still pending the Letitia James situation in New York. First card, look at this. 
this is the ace of swords swords are truth justice rules and law this is the ace this is a great big offer of justice truth and law and what's interesting here because I'm asking in the next three months and this is the one this is the ace does this mean in a month because I'm using months as a frame of reference next card is the five of swords and the five of swords is what the five of swords represents an abuse of power the last card will Fonnie Willis that's the Georgia prosecutor um, get Trump uh, a, a rain uh, indict him which means arrest him in the next three months look at this the nine of wands wands are actions plans forward movement what's been happening with my three card pulls uh, recently is many times the last card seems to be the card that addresses the subject which is this case is Trump uh, so the nine of swords uh, plans actions forward movement and this one is showing someone who has been through the ringer there's uh, eight swords behind this person he's got one plan to hold on to and he's still gonna keep fighting this is Donald Trump so I think there's a good possibility that within a month Bonnie Willis is going to address his abuse of power and that he will be fighting that also. I hope somebody keeps track of this because honestly, once I do these videos, I don't record, uh, I don't remember even what I've done the video about. I don't keep a log as what the outcome was. So I hope some of you do keep track of that stuff because I just give you a fresh read every time I do a video. I don't go back and see what did I say last time or how right or wrong was I. It's just not important to me. I don't have any control over this. Um, so whatever it is, is what it is. Now the next one I want to ask about then, we did Fonnie Willis. Well, let's go ahead and say Letitia James. Will she indict, which means arrest, Trump in the next three months? Uh, that'd be uh, July, August, September. Three cards. One, Letitia James. Two, Letitia James. Three, Letitia James. When? Will that happen? Letitia James, arrest Donald Trump. Look at this. This is the King of Swords. Again, a very strong truth, justice, rules, and law card. The King of Swords, I think this is Letitia. You know, the, the um, uh, gender of the person in the card doesn't necessarily have to be the same gender of the person that we're asking about. Uh, it just, this, I think it can refer to the uh, power that this person has. And so the first card up, Letitia James is the king of king of swords, truth, justice, rules of law. Next card, will Letitia James, ooh, end of a cycle. This is the death card. And death doesn't usually mean death. It usually just means a definite end of a cycle. So what could this mean? We're talking about Letitia James um, indicting Trump, which means arrest Trump. And um, so this could mean this is the end of his free reign of, of, of um, criminal, criminal activity in New York. Um, you know, it occurs to me that this could be the end of her investigation. I wonder if she might um, pair her investigation into one of the other ones with uh, Alan Bragg or maybe the federal investigation. I don't know. But it's, I kind of want to tend to believe it's the end of the reign of Donald Trump, certainly in New York. And then the last card for Letitia James, is she going to indict, which means arrest, Donald Trump in the next three months? And we've got the Four of Cups. So the Four of Cups are uh, compassion, heartfelt situations. The Four of Cups is typically being offered something that you don't necessarily want. And like I just mentioned, it seems to me the last card in my three card draws very often is the kind of the subject of the, of the thing. And so, this is showing three cups on the ground and another one in the uh, being offered that the person doesn't want. So if this were Trump, and again, this, the gender of the person in the card doesn't necessarily have to be the gender of the person we're talking about. We've got the Department of Justice, J uh, Jack Smith. We've got um, uh, the uh, other indictment. My mind is blank now. Old age. And then uh, we've got a third one. Could she be the fourth... Um, uh, e. Jean Carroll maybe and then uh, Miami uh, uh, Jack Smith could she and then could this be Fonnie Willis and could this be Letitia James I'm gonna stick with that I'm gonna say that's the case so in this three card draw we've got uh, Letitia James coming forth with truth justice rules of law we have the Trump end of his cycle we've got three indictments on the ground and one more coming that he doesn't want to receive so I think that's the E. Jean Carroll this is the 
uh, Jack Smith, this is the Fonnie Willis, and then this is probably the Letitia James. Why not? Now, let's do a full Celtic cross, Donald Trump, that's 10 cards, and we're gonna say, uh, these indictments of Donald Trump, will these be the end of the road for him eventually? Remember, this can take a long time. He is the king of uh, delay, and there are lots of legal, uh, reasonable ways that his team can continue to put this off until he dies, actually, perhaps. But certainly um, beyond when it will matter. You know what? I'm going to do one more three card draw. Let me re remind you on a Trump win election. Let me remember to do that one. If I forget, remind me. Okay, so um, all of the indictments on Trump, all of the arrests on Trump, all of these cases against Trump, are these going to amount to the end for him? Six cards first, then another four to com complete the Celtic cross. So one, two, three, four. And I want to remind you, if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. You can't imagine the difference it makes uh, in the channel. If you haven't done a thumbs up or a like, please do that. Uh, make sure you ring the bell. And if you like these cards, remember I'm going to talk about them more at the towards the end of the video. I'll show you more of the cards. I don't get paid for any of that. I just do it because when I was just reading, uh, looking at uh, videos, I wanted to know more about the cards that were being displayed. And, you know, just maximum 10 cards for many readers, Marianne Revealing Like Tarot, she's great. She goes through the deck and shows you a lot of the cards in each of her readings. But So let's get back to the question. So um, the all of the indictments, all of the arrests, all of the charges against Donald Trump that have already occurred and that are coming down the pike, are these going to be the end of him? Whenever. Don't know when it will be, but whenever. And in the end, we'll see if he's going to win the election. Wow, the first card up is the death card, the end of a cycle, and that's the signifier of this uh, read. It's spooky how accurate, I mean, how pertinent, how relatable, how to the point the cards are, and um, wow, that's scary. So yeah, signifier card, will these indictments be the end of Trump, and we get the death card. Could mean that he dies before it's all over with, or it could mean that this is his end in the cycle. The challenge to it is this three of pentacles. And what are pentacles? Pentacles are, are um, value that can be money. They're usually, uh, and in the three of pentacles in particular, it's putting something together through collaboration for public display. So I would say the challenge to this being the end for Trump is that his teams are going to be carefully crafting together each little piece of value they can find for public display to help sway that case. Although actually, you've got to remember, public display, what the public thinks should have very little should have very little to do with how a case comes out because the public isn't um, isn't uh, judging the case. The jury is. They're private and they're not watching what's going on in public. The basis of this whole reading then on whether all of these indictments, all of these arrests will eventually be the end for Trump, and it looks like they will be, is uh, moving out of troubled water. So the basis of all of this, truth, justice, rules, and law, is on a boat getting pushed out of the way because Trump is trying to move himself out of troubled water, or he's trying to have people move him out of troubled water. This looks like it could be a shrouded uh, Trump with somebody working their butt off, trying to push him uh, and all this truth, justice, rules, and law out of the way. And that's the basis of this, and it makes perfect sense. The past of this reading for Donald Trump and will all of these indictments, which are arrests, uh, be the end of him? Look at this. The star is in the past. Okay? This is the star card. It's it's well into the fool's journey and in the major arcana. And this is telling us that this star power, where is it? It's in the past. The sky of this reading, ah, <laughs> Okay, Pentacles, uh, value, worth, money, and this is the Seven of Pentacles, and the Seven of Pentacles is always looking at what you've got here and saying, man, did I do enough? Could I have done more? Have I har harvested what I could from this crop? Uh, should I tend to it a bit more? This is Donald Trump looking at everything that he's done and wondering what more he could have done to make this better. <laughs> and then the final 
for this uh, dyadic cross, and we'll do four more cards to make a full Celtic cross, is, um, ah, this Queen of uh, Swords. Truth, Justice, Rules, and Law, Queen of Swords. I think in this case, we are talking about the female prosecutors and justice itself. And yeah, so the final outcome for the first part of this is that uh, Truth, Justice, Rules, and Law will win. We'll get four more cards. Okay, to finish this Celtic cross. I'll just draw them as we use them. This feels funny on the other side. So the very self of this question, will these indictments, will these arrests be the end for Donald Trump? And the, the thing that speaks to that very question is going to, wow, is uh, theft and betrayal. Theft and betrayal. Theft, okay, as in stealing government documents. Betrayal, as in betraying the United States government and the Constitution and you and me. Okay, that's the the signifier of this whole question, theft and betrayal. The um, environment that that's in, however, is look at this. This is the Nine of Pentacles, Pentacles being value, the Nine of Pentacles being a very fruitful uh, person. This person just has a plethora of value all around them, lots of things to choose from. They've got so much evidence that um, there's too much evidence, okay? Not for it not to be the end for him. Uh, the hopes and the fears then is going to be strength. Okay, strength. This is for Donald Trump. He hopes and he fears. He hopes that he has the strength to, to withstand this and beat it on the other side, and he fears that he won't. So that's the hopes and the fears. And then the final outcome for all of this, will these indictments, which means arrests, uh, be the thing that finishes him off? Look at that, yes. This is a great big ace of value of pentacles. And yes, we've got what it takes. The government, all the, the uh, judges, all the uh, law has a great big offer of what it takes to finish off this guy. Okay, so let's read it all again. So for um, the, the the main question, yeah, this is the end of a cycle. It's a death card for him. And it's challenged by his people trying to come up with a value to put something up for public display, which in fact is a useless, pointless uh, exercise because it's not the public that's going to convict him. It's a, a jury of his peers. The uh, basis of this whole reading is the Six of uh, Swords moving out of troubled water, and that's what they're trying to, he's trying to do. And the past is a star card where he is not a star anymore. In the sky of this is him wondering, with the Seven of Pentacles, have I done enough? And the final outcome for the first part of this, which would be a diet cross, but we're going to make it a Celtic cross, is this Queen of Swords. This is that feminine energy of truth, justice, rules, and law raining down on this fellow. The very signifier, uh, signifier of that question is... Um, the Seven of Swords, which is theft and betrayal, couldn't be clearer. And the challenge to it is just the wealth of information that uh, that all the prosecutors have against him. The um, hopes and the fears for this, this is Donald Trump hoping that he has the strength to withstand it and the fear that he won't. But the final outcome right here is that uh, this great big offer ace of, of value is in the hands of justice. Now, I said I would do one more three-card draw because usually this is the end. But let's do one more because it seems like I'm on kind of a roll here, actually. One more card to say, Trump, will he win the election of 2024? Will he be president in 2024? Will Donald Trump be the president again of the United States of America in 2024? Will Donald Trump be the president of the United States in 2024. Will Donald Trump be the President of the United States in 2024? Three cards. One, two, and three. Remember, I'm going to talk about these cards a little bit more in just a moment here, and if you haven't subscribed, please do. Will he be President? Well, what we get here is a night with an action, a plan. I, perhaps this is who Trump feels like he is. It's interesting that he's not a king, he's not an emperor. This is a knight, this is a fighter, okay? With an action, with a plan. Will he be uh, president? Will he win the election in 2024? Ah, look at this, the Five of Cups, heartfelt situations, lots of stuff spilt, a little bit left to keep continuing on with, so that's not encouraging for him. 
And then the final card, will he be president in 2024? And it looks like the, uh, okay, what do we got? We got the Queen of Cups. It looks like compassion somehow shows her face in this. So it doesn't tell me that he will be um, win the election, but it shows me that there might be some compassion in his regard. I'm going to do one more card to see if it somehow becomes more clear as to whether he will or will not be president in 2024. I'm going to spread these out to get that card. Too many actions. Eight of Wands. Actions, plans, forward movement raining down on him. No, he won't be because there are too many um, issues that, that come down to him and stop it from happening. So I pray that's the case. Hope you like the read. I have to say, this has been most one of the more enjoyable uh, videos that I've made, is I really feel like it's time for this guy to have his comeuppance. And uh, I hope you agree with the, the way the card's read. If you don't, that's fine. Your interpretations are 100% valid. And I'm just a guy reading the cards. Uh, there's nothing special about me um, other than I do try to tune in. And I think we all have that ability once you learn how to, um, to use it. So, uh, let me know what you think. Tell me what you want me to read about, because, you know, I read on that. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. So, Golden Universal Tarot. These are great cards. This is another Los Scarabio. Uh, like I say, it must be a sweatshop of make, let's make tarot cards back at that place. Um, the guidebook is just your typical couple languages. Uh, not too tiny to read, which is what I'm concerned with. But nothing, <coughs> um, you know, astounding uh, revealed in that. But the cards... They're really great, and of course, what's what's neat about them is that they're kind of gilded. You know what? Let me turn off the main light that I've got here in the room because I think it sheds a little uh, too much uh, shine on these cards. But uh, you can see that they're pretty much the typical Rider Waite depictions, just uh, gilded and golded up, and uh, really make them interesting uh, to look at. And after all, if you're looking at tarot cards every day. Uh, no matter why, whether you're looking at readings or whether you're doing the readings, you know, if you can shake it up with something that's a little interesting to look at, I think it's great. And of course, like I always say, I lay them out like this for two reasons. One, it's an interesting way to get your cards mixed up and shuffled. And if you're working with someone else, you can let them do this and kind of get their energy in the cards. And But the most important reason for me is because when I was just watching uh, the videos, I like to see uh, what the cards look like. Um, and you never got the chance to do that. So here they are, Golden Universal Tarot, uh, Los Scarabio. Love these cards. Well, coming back tomorrow, I'll be doing it all again. So ciao for now.